we present SSID confusion attack, which abuses a Wi-Fi design flaw to trick a client into connecting to a wrong network. A common attack scenario is when the 2.4 on 5 GHz band use a different SSID, so a different network name, but the same password as shown here. Typically, the 5 GHz band uses newer and more secure access points, and in this demo, Android is configured to only connect to the more secure 5 GHz SSID. However, an adversary can trick Android into connecting to the less secure 2.4 SSID. This is done by creating a rogue access point with the 5 GHz SSID. When the victim then connects to this rogue clone, the adversary forwards all frames to the real 2.4 GHz SSID. Due to a design flaw in the Wi-Fi standard, all Wi-Fi clients, including Android, will not realize they are being tricked into connecting to the less secure 2.4 SSID. Once the client has connected, attacks like Crook can make the less secure 2.4 access point leak packets. The leak packets can reveal personal information and can be abused to spoof DNS replies to subsequently intercept even more traffic of the victim. Our attack also impacts VPNs that disable themselves when connected to a trusted Wi-Fi SSID. For instance, here Android is connected to the untrusted HomeNet SSID and the VPN is enabled. When the victim connects to the trusted KU11 SSID, the VPN turns itself off. However, in reality the client is not connected to K11 because the SSID confusion attack was used to trick the client into connecting to a less trusted SSID instead. In other words, the VPN wrongly disabled itself. In the case of K11, the victim can be tricked into connecting with the Telenet y SSID instead. Telenet y is an encrypted hotspot broadcasted by home routers of the Belgian ISP Telenet. In other words, any Telenet customer can trick a KU Leuven employee into connecting with their own home router, as shown here, to subsequently intercept all traffic of the employee. When the employee visits a badly configured website, such as VideoLAN, they can even be tricked into installing malware. To defend against these attacks, we recommend using a different password for each SSID.